Hello doll friends, this is Michael Canadas with the Carmel Doll Shop and the Grovian Doll Museum. Today we're going to share a few treasures from the Tom Thumb collection. Um, but first I want to talk about what's happening with our kits and uh, our videos. So there are two videos already up and running on instructions for uh, Mrs. Tom Thumb's clothing. Um, we just completed, and they will be coming up today and tomorrow, uh, videos on the hat making. So at this point, I think there's about seven hours of instruction on um, making things for the Tom Thumb collection. Um, since those things are, are, are done, uh, our good friend Jeffrey Cook of Mason Jeffrey is going to do an instructional video on making the underclothes. And he started, uh, I think we're gonna have um, Jeffrey in charge of, of control. So once he started the kit, we, he, he pointed out to us that there is a shortage of fabrics. So we are going to get those out very shortly, the replacement fabric. If you've already gotten your kit, don't even think about doing the underwear yet. Set that aside, do something else, it'll all work, and we're going to get you the proper uh, fabric that you need and lace that are shorted. Now, to make up for that, I am going to give you uh, two fabulous tiny buttons that are very hard for me to let go of. So you'll be getting two of these gorgeous little pearl buttons that you will put on you'll put them on the chemise front and you will put it on the nightgown back. But that's all uh, our fulfillment department is working on that now. So that is having to do with the creation of the Tom Thumb kits. I wanted to show you the actual items that belong to the real Mr. Tom Thumb. Um, we have shown these in other videos before. And the wonderful thing about sharing information out on the internet is there are lots and lots of experts that are um, out there are willing to help. Uh, in one video we did, it was brought up that because Tom Thumb was between 32 and 34 inches tall, there's different um, um, well, I imagine he shrunk as, as we do and as we get older. Um, I stated that this was probably not Tom, Tom Thumb's uh, top hat, and this is beaver, and because if you look at the proportion of the, uh, sh his boots and this hat, well, an expert on Tom Thumb pointed out to me that this is probably his hat from when he was young, because he started performing very, very early. And we know that this is definitely not a doll hat, because dolls don't perspire. And you can see that there's um, hair grease, a residue in it, and there's perspiration. So this, you know, was definitely worn by a human. Um, so I think we can't absolutely prove it, but I think that our friend that's you know has a fabulous collection and is an expert may be correct that this is a Tom Thumb piece. And you can see it kind of in uh, next to the doll, I think it's kind of sweet. Now one thing that we are going to provide for you at some point, we haven't done this yet because I kind of forgot about it. So when this collection came to us, which was gifted by Carol Cameron from the United Kingdom, it came with this little scrap. And it's not in the greatest condition. This was just a ephemeral piece. And this feels like it was out of a scrapbook, or at least a poster from a fan. And what is really wonderful about it is it really has something very, very rare, which is this piece right here. And that is uh, General Tom Thumb's calling card. So we are going to have these made, um, uh, formatted for you um, in a miniature size. 
and then you can, uh, off of our web website, you can print this, this off. And we may also do all these pretty little things too for you. And those of you that are doing the kit, once you have um, the basic patterns for the pieces, particularly the general, because Mrs. Thumb has a lot of costumes, but you can see there's all these things you could do. Uh, here they're in Dutch costumes, here they're in a kilt, um, a drummer boy, another kilt, um, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. I mean, you could really go to town with the project. And I, I would imagine somewhere out there is a miniature carriage that could be utilized for them. So this is something that will be coming up. We're working on it. Uh, we will, when we do an update on the website, we will notify everyone that that's available. Um, then the other thing I wanted to point out is, uh, this is another thing that we're going to do. Uh, we'll, we'll make spats that could go over his um, uh, uh, shoes so that that way you can create tall boots. And if you can see, you know, it was here somewhere, mm, here. Here he is in his riding costume. And I would imagine that the boots for the riding costume and the boots for Napoleon were probably one and the same. I should point out that both uh, Tom Thumb and Mrs. Tom Thumb, Lavinia Warren, in their lifetime received thousands and thousands of gifts. Uh, it seems the manufacturers, uh, notable personalities, wealthy people, all love to give them gifts, uh, including Queen Victoria. Like for instance, the, the carriage that is uh, here, this was a gift from uh, Queen Victoria. And this was a very practical uh, carriage with ponies. They did have a gilded uh, uh, carriage and um, uh, I believe uh, Tiffany and Company made them a silver carriage. But this was their real functioning carriage. Now, and then you can see we've done, uh, here's a, a fancy dressed vest and here's, here is his real vest. And you can see normally in collecting this would be a no-no, but you can see the perspiration stains under the arms. So this is something he wore when he was performing. Now, Michael Jackson is known for the one glove. We have um, Tom Thumb's one single glove. Perhaps it was lost, the other glove, from the collection it was in, but most likely gloves were a very personal gift. So you could give someone one of your gloves as a, um, for affection. So that might have been given to this, whoever assembled this originally, uh, they might have been a super fan. Now I wanna move on to his shirt because in the last video we did of this, I didn't really notice this, but if you notice it opens down the front like a normal shirt. It's quite long. Let me undo this because men's shirts in this time went and were kind of tucked into the private areas. But this is a little different because if you notice the, the size of the, the neck is very tiny and which kind of helps with the concept of the hat they seem to be in proportion, but it opens in the back. So if we look at the illustrations of Mr. Thumb, he actually had a pretty big head. So it looks like his neck is tiny, but his head is bigger. So that was probably to have a good fit around the, ne the neck, but to be able to get his, his head through that. I'm not totally sure, uh, but it, th that's what I'm gonna surmise. And then of course, it's you know, beautifully made. When you do the doll, you will just do a, um, the shirt without the sleeves because otherwise you'll never get it. Uh, the bulk would never go into the, 
um, jacket. So I, I, I think I've shared, and then this is, I think that this is uh, 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 Colonel McNutt, and uh, he was, he was um, Tom Thumb's frenemy. Uh, it looks very similar to, the, the, to these pieces, but not quite. Uh, Colonel McNutt was uh, Tom Thumb's frenemy because he was really madly in love with Lavinia Warren, but Tom Thumb won out. So anyways, I brought you up to date on what's going on with the Tom Thumb kits, and um, we are getting ready to, uh, we've been putting this off for a while to install these items with the Tom Thumb collection, uh, but we're going to be doing that shortly. So those of you who've ordered our kits, it's, this is, a, it is in the mail, so it'll be with you shortly. Well, bye-bye, doll friends. We'll be back later. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.